good man and a teddy would be bang on. Our fault ish. Got to enjoy yourself. First man all. <laughs> Pretty good knees. We're about to mow some grass. It's big grass. And this time, it wasn't our fault. All the weathers. We'll go and block. Oh wow! Two frogs here. That's cool. We're in the 10 acre, and what you will see is Dad in his hurley bin, his favourite hurley bin. The only one we've got. That's the only one he's got. We're in this field and the grass has grown a bit longer, you'd say, wouldn't you, Dad? A lot longer. And also, we've got a few dogs in here, haven't we? A few dogs. I'm not trying to take anything off, so I'm not being any mucking. Just not getting under it. So we don't like our grass going to head. And this grass here, That's not too bad. He wants mowing though, there's yeah. a lot of it. And we have some docks over there that have come out where it's been flooded, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've got to go mowing because I want to chop on Thursday. 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 Well, it's drying, isn't it? It's drying everybody. It's drying everybody. Like walking through my boots, dry. it's dry at the base, which I was a little bit worried about me putting pressure on Dad, because I was putting pressure on Dad this morning. It's a bit damp there. It's wet and right to the bottom. Got a good tether, if you know one. <laughs> we got a good tether, it's a really, really good man. That's what we need. A good man and a tether would be bang on, wouldn't it? A good man and a tether and a tractor to follow. And you're gonna try with the big old. I mind you, depends on why you get on today. We've got manholes down yeah. there, so I'm gonna go have a bit of a walk, make sure the manholes are clear. We didn't let yeah. cows graze this, because after we did first cut, it was quite green underneath. It was growing so the grass like was growing really well. I had a bit of a stall, and it's really yeah. warm weather, wet. It's really pushed on, isn't it? You can just see the lines where the double bar's been on the slurry. So that's why I've just flattened it a bit more. So if I could see them down that end, just where it's a bit thinner, they're in there somewhere. So I don't want to bring any of that back. After we chop properly, yeah. we'll see what it's yeah. like. That was an experiment we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. And next year, what we might do is use a splash plate on silage ground, dribble bar on grazing ground. Yeah. Because grazing, it's been bang on. Yeah. And you can see over there on the big field where the difference between either the splash plate or the dribble bar. Can you see it? Yeah. We'll have a look later, we'll make a video on that. That'll be interesting, splash plate dribble bar, what did better when we did them next to each other? You see a difference? You can see the amount of crop we have in, loads of grass, which we, we can grow grass really well. And the reason why it's not the weather's fault, it's not our fault-ish, we put that silo clamp up. That silo clamp has taken a little bit of time. Ideally, we'd have chopped just before my wedding, which was yeah. five days ago. So we would have chopped 10 days ago, had it in, and this grass wouldn't be what it is today. It wouldn't be this head. This head is full of fiber, Good for young stock. It's not awful at all. It would have been better to get it off earlier in an ideal world. But sometimes, weddings and weather, silage clamps get in the way of an ideal world. I had a great wedding. It was amazing. You saw the video. Big thanks to everyone. Congratulate me. Thank you for that. It's one of those. Sometimes, you might just cost you a little bit more, but you've got to enjoy yourself. Right, let's find these manholes. First manhole, I can see it. I do. Number one. Manhole number two. Make it obvious so everyone can see it. Number three. <laughs> Clean it out. The fear of something jumping out of you when you're in there is large. Because cows haven't been here, we haven't put the covers on. Because we know who they are, no one else should be walking through here, technically. When cows get here, we'll put the covers back on. It's a bit, it's a bit wet underneath. We could do a throwing out. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. See the line slurry a little bit. We'll find out. We do the analysis. It was worth the experiment for one year. Fourth. Final, which I got by complete mistake, is here. Happy with that. Make it really obvious for Dad and myself, for myself. I know where all these are now, so I don't hit them. So it just shows like it looks like your fields are repaired a little bit, and then uh, the docks come or weeds come on flooded ground, so it's costing you money in sprays because we're gonna have to spray it off, obviously. Again, it's the same. The areas that have got docks most of the areas that flooded in the winter. I'm gonna take off my dad for a bit, get a bit mowing, I'll catch you with you a bit. Because all we're doing is kind of mowing grass, but just mowing docks. Lots of them in this field anyway. If 
I swat with him now, it just means he has to walk from here. He has bad knees. I might as well walk. I have pretty good knees. I'm gonna do something different. I've not done it for a while. And I'm missing the case. I'll tell you why in two minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna make a change. The tractor doesn't pick it up as high as the case. So on the back right, it's actually just touching the swath a little bit. I don't want it to do that. When I'm going round back in, the mower's obviously up, but it's up like that. So this, el imagine my elbow is where the mower is. It's cutting the swath all the way. So what I'm gonna do is go into 20 acre, which is just next door, open that up, and then I'm gonna come into here. Then it gives this time to settle, the 20 acre sides to settle, and I get to just finish off the fronts. We used to do this a long time ago when we had big crops. Today is a massive crop for second cut, which is really good, I guess. I just don't want to just be cutting edges off all the time. So I'm gonna open that up, come back in here, finish that in the middle. 20 acre, nice and clean, hasn't got those. In. You'll see this full of docks, but one of them can't do anything about it. Well, you can, you can spray it off, but can't do anything about it now. about the lawn mowers lately. I've seen on Twitter and a bit of conversation to some other YouTuber asked me about my lawn mowers. I don't know if I can say or not. I don't, I don't know if we want to keep it secret. So these mowers love grass. They love long grass. They love going through grass fast. I don't know if they do one with a conditioner because there's a big thing about uh, when you just flat mow it without the conditioner, straight mow it, whatever you want to call it. Leave it on the ground a little bit more and the tether and the rowing up machine won't pick it up. Hooks times does a cracking job and maybe need a conditioner but it's a hundred horsepower tractor with a 10 foot mower you can feel it and it's completely different to the case but look at that for a swap unbelievably nice and neat the faster you go the happier it is you can't complain right get this done and I'll go back in there. This thing gets a bunch of tilt. It's a little bit yellow here. Go around the edges. Nice and smooth. Dock. A bit annoying about the docks. Can't wait for my nutritionist to let me know when we do a sample of the silage. You know who you are, Helen and Liz. Thank you. Just loves grass. Some dirty Gateway. Could be worse, could be, could be a whole truck load. I know I've said it before, but one of my favourite things about doing a job next to a field of cows is looking at my cows happy and grazing or just chilling out, like obviously mowing and then looking at them all there. It's like one of my favourite things. Yeah. It's very weird, I know. They're happy, that's the main thing. That is the 20 opened up, finish off the 10. Leaving it, what? 30 minutes, by the time I've gone round seven times that field, maybe not 30 minutes. Look how much drier it is already, and the uh, sun's been getting in compared to. There, where it's so much darker because it's a bit damp. It really needs shaking out at least once this dad might follow me today, or shaking out tomorrow morning, maybe twice. Dad's done something. You're about to see it. Look at that. Hey, you got attracted. Who doesn't like the case? Dad's put the blown tether on the case 885. And we'll let you know how she goes. We'll let you know how she goes. Obviously, we don't have the case tracked, so that's why I'm in the wheel again. Some good. Think of summer exercise rather than winter routine. Down, it'd be right. Of course it will. Just lift it. Well, it will lift it, no problem. It's just like a tennis table. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can't turn either. Hey ho, who needs to turn? This 28, I'd stop for a little bit because. Um, Back end, someone's up with this. I think it's pumping hydraulic oil when it shouldn't be. Dad doesn't think so, and he thinks I've got something wrong, but I think I'm right. I'll show you why I think I'm right. Drop this. If I try and lift this, no revs really. It won't lift up. 
so if I let it reps, I think something's just not right. I don't know what it is. Someone will know exactly when we're chatting about this. But yeah, right, I'm gonna diesel up, get some food, and start another field. Because I want to get it all done today, another 30 acres. I don't think I'm gonna, but I'd like to. Bacon boy. Thank you. Not bad. It's a great seed. Bacon and boy is very lucky, yeah. It's got most of the fields. I've got a cow somewhere where a cow should not go. You'll see that soon. Oh, isn't that the cutest thing in the world? It's just the coolest dog ever. R.I.P. Benji. Right, let's go in the big field and I'm gonna try and tack that little field over the road tomorrow. Big field today. GoPro up there. For two reasons. One, I just haven't done that yet. And two, two, the other thing why I haven't done that is because a, it's been hit too hot, so I've had that up. And two, I haven't done it because I, I haven't really cameraed a lot today. Uh, right, let's go in the field. I find this quite interesting. So you'll see when dad throws till, he doesn't like throwing it too much to the edge because it just becomes a waste. But look, so this is the grass that we didn't mow last time. Obviously it's not had a lot of till or anything because again, it's the edge. Where I mowed last time, should have, probably should have put some more slurry. I don't think this field got slurry. I can't remember. Neighbours just put some wooden planks there. And not the neighbour that we speak to all the time. Random neighbour hasn't even asked us if he could do that. But hey ho. It's no bother, we don't care. If I do anything, anybody, I always ring and just go, oh, could I just do that? And I go, yeah, no problem. To the point where I think I'm pestering them to ask them if I could do something they've always said I could do. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. You can see exactly where it was gone. Now the challenge is to get a little bit closer and get a little bit more like, more like grass. Yes, grasses have gone to head a little bit, but the grass is lovely. Lovely. Well, as cool as I found. It's clean, not a lot of weeds compared to over the road at all. So yeah, really happy with this field. From what I've seen so far, be interested to see what Dad's flooded areas are like. What ex flooded areas are like, they reseeded with his till sower. Um, hopefully, full of a bit of grass. Quite interesting to see how big the crop is in here. Look at that, that's mowed. Normally leaves me quite a good swap. We're in second gear, so we're traveling about 14k. Speed doesn't work, so I don't really know. Hell of a good view. Absolutely amazing. Best shot you will get camera or video in is first thing in the morning, which fortunately was far as we see. And at night as well, fortunately sometimes see as well. It's just amazing, I don't know what other industry that sees the start of the day and the end of the day while they work pretty much all year round. People say would say that it's not very fortunate. I can't myself it's quite fortunate being able to do so. Like you don't see that view being sat in bed. It's uh, quite nice. Quite a serious note. We are very fortunate as farmers to enjoy the job that we do and to get the scenery that we do. Just gone six, I'm a little bit late this morning. I'm, I'm wearing a t-shirt that's 2005, 16 years ago. I got a t-shirt when I was 13, I'm rugby tour. It's a Newcastle, I think. I wouldn't say it was a perfect sit. It was a little bit tight. Right, I'm gonna feed some calves. I get my cows in, see if the fence needs moving. Dad moved it a lot, so I don't have to move it now. Got that field to do, field in a bit. And that was a bit to do from last night, because I was tired and finished. And then they would field through. Probably wondering why I started so early. We've got another project on this morning. I want to get everything mowed off so it's got time to will for tomorrow. It's a plan anyway. And we are off again on a beautiful morning. What was the story about yesterday? First time, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Best shots, best views, best everything. A little bit of dew still on the tyres, but with this heat and the sun rising, give it 30 minutes or something. The dew will be gone, they'll have this field done. Dad's turning out, he said he's gonna be in here very soon, so he's chasing me. He's slower in the tractor, but he's doing three rows at a time of my one that was flooded, and the other area here, he's grown a bit of weed, so a bit of 
bit of sheep grazing would get it out without having to spray it ourselves. And hopefully next year it should be better if we don't flood. But the chances of not flooding are very low. Um, it's one of those, isn't it? Sheep graze weeds out quite well. That is what they do do really well. Not the biggest fan of sheep on the farm, but if you want to get rid of weeds without having to spray them, spray sheep. I feel like that's not picking up as well as it was doing. It'd be interesting to see his opinion on it. I reckon he's not got it as low. We'll chat to him in two minutes. not stopping I feel like he could go lower with that he's not done that run yet in my opinion right next field open her up I've got two cows to serve and then come back to it Sarge will be dropped happy Tom this field this is the last field now interesting you can see where the till's been so on the right you've got a heavier crop it's fallen a little bit on the left you haven't got as much as much fertilizer till nitrogen whatever you want to say ditch and um, and uh, it's less dense it's less full of grass I find that quite interesting um, you can tell oh, damn it. Easy trimming. when you slurry as well you can tell the difference massively it's a big difference get off that bloody thing that was where we called the metal last time nightmare Like I say, it's always a little bit different with that. That's very obvious. Can you see that difference? That gap there. Don't put fertilizer on the edge because what's the point? Well, we put a little bit where we can, but we don't put it near ditches and dikes because nitrogen into the waterways is not what we want. And apparently, phosphorus is a thing that is a real issue now. And they're saying that's going to be the next one, phosphorus into it. Boeing, he says. Ah, no, it's a bit. No! Oh, what a roller goes through a motion. If anyone knows, when you're mowing, the last run is a full run. Look at that. No cuts, no nothing. But whilst I got my uh, GoPro, obviously I moved the tractor, and there's a little cut down there. Like a sliver of about 10 feet. That's so annoying. Hey -oh, I'm gonna uh, get that layer off because I'm gonna go and... Interesting, I put a lot of slurry on this field with the dribble bar and I can't see it as much. Interesting when we get it all up and break it. But, hey -oh, we are cracking on. Hopefully I'll have this field done in the next 45 minutes. And I'm ready to do job number two of the day, which you'll see later on. Sneaky, sneaky. Crops that big makes me feel like you're in Jurassic Park. Isn't it? I just got at eight o'clock, an hour and a half, and absolutely smashed it this morning. Touch wood at the moment, and nothing set on fire, and nothing's got stuck. You'll know what I'm talking about. And that is the end of mowing. I'm gonna go do that job. Dad rung me, he said, "Oh, stop mowing. We'll go do the job, and we'll be back in like two or three hours." afternoon but I was like might as well get it mowing off it's not gonna wilt stood off uh, and then we'll have a check up on dad on his AA5 turning out that's what we want to see don't we not me mowing we should be mowing for the time this tractor did a good job it does make me think this tractor is a mainline tractor it is 14 years old now it's a great tractor as a 
it is a good track for a mainline tyre for us. It, it, it's, it's everything we need. Is it just getting a little bit old now for being your main mainline tractor? Is it worth trading the 885 in, getting another mainline tractor, and this be the Keenan tractor and then the backup? I don't know, it could be worth it. Something to think about. Obviously, that case leaving and being here has made me feel how good it is. Right, I'm gonna get back, look at just something here, and uh, see Dad Ted now. Dad's just finished up, we're just mowing a bit, we're gonna make some big bales on. He's back with an 885 and Teddy. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad, it's not rough. No, I don't want to be bouncing. Bouncing, so. And you'll see that it's not picking up as much as it was. You have raised this up so it's not just yeah, flicking the floor be, a little bit. Yeah, I didn't want to be scraping the floor with how much slurry we put on. But I could see it on the ground, so I deliberately left it here. Yeah. It's not as though it's not going to dry, every bit of grass will dry. I left it just a bit, built it up a bit more, so I'm not scraping it to the ground. I don't want to bring any of that muck we put on no. back into the grass. Bad enough when the next tenant is scraping it. So the other grass is looking well across this farm. It's growing, so isn't it? Growing. We're doing that three weeks. Three weeks time, we'll be back on that. Just keep putting more on. Well, I've got that with my little case. You've got it a bit warm this afternoon. Flushed her out, didn't you? Flushed her out, yeah, but it's, it's not hot. But it's still running a bit warm. It's still up there in the red zone. In the red zone. You'll be right. The other little thing as well. He wants to cart grass with that tomorrow. With one of Dave's trailers. Mental. This is what we'd be doing if we didn't have the case, which we don't have the case. I know I'm cheap, but I'm sold to whatever you're selling. I guess if truth be told, I tripped and I fell in over my head, even though I said I'm not looking for love. There we go, a nice carpet of grass. The only thing is, I think he's leaving in a little bit more rows just because he has lifted it up a little bit, so it's just not scratching the floor as much. It wasn't scratching the floor, like flicking the floor, so like probably that much off the floor. So it's grass pulling on grass. But he seems happy. Three rows, of it. it's fast, that thing. Eight rotors, hell of a job. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of mowing, a little bit of different. We've just downgraded all our kit which is no bother. Um, there might be something coming in the future. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows, speaking to them last week. Who knows? You'll find out very, very soon. If not, or if so. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. K885, what can it not do? Hurleyman bosses it. Do I miss a bit of comfort? Yes, but hey Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.